Good morning everybody, my name is Dastagir, uh, today's session I am going to uh, take a class, small introductions on configuring web servers and uh, a programming language called PHP and database called MySQL. Before uh, entering into uh, uh, say uh, web servers, I am going to explain uh, what is this web servers means that. Uh, let me uh, say some example. Consider a hotel web hotel server. What a hotel server do uh, when a client comes and ask for tea? The server goes inside and take the tea and gives to this client. Another client comes and asks for Italy or sambar, and the same server goes to take and search Italy sambar and give to the client. The same things happens in the software web servers client requesting and the server gives. This is a simple concept and the idea of a web server. Uh, today sessions we are going to uh, take two web servers, uh, one is Tomcat and another one is Apache 2. Uh, first uh, let me start with the Tomcat. So, now I am going to install Tomcat in Ubuntu 10.04. I am going to install Tomcat uh, using our Aptan CD. See, after inserting our Aptan CD, this pop up menu will come uh, cancel and start package manager. So, now we are going to start the package manager. Just click on the package manager. Now, I am going to install Tomcat 6. Uh, in quick search text box, please uh, type Tomcat and press enter. It will display Tomcat 6 related applications. Now, I am going to install Tomcat 6. Right click on Tomcat 6 and mock for installation. Mock. So, it will also install all the dependencies packages. After selecting, just click on apply button. You will download the packages from the CD. This Apache Tom, Tomcat 6 uh, is used to run Java web applications, servlet and JSP pages. Uh, we will see how to run simple JSP page and uh, a, a web application, simple web application. So, installation completed. Now, how to start this server? Open your terminal, so after installing we need to start the Tomcat server, okay. sudo slash etc init dot d slash Tomcat 6 start, it, it asks for the authentication. So, our Tomcat servlet engine is started. So, it shows the OK button. If it is not uh, showing the OK, uh, it has some problem. So, now I want to test whether our server is working perfectly or not. So, open your browser and type localhost colon 8080. It will show it works page. So, now our web server is working perfectly. Now, I want to uh, write a 
small JSP page and I want to uh, run it, how to do that? Open your terminal. So, our Tomcat 6 default root uh, folder is cd slash where lib tomcat 6 web apps. This is our uh, uh, Tomcat 6 default to root folder. If you want to develop applications or if you want to run a web application, you must place your application in this folder only. Now, I am going to create a small hello world JSP file. Before that, we need to add one folder. So, because uh, uh, to separate uh, package name. For example, create a directory test. Our test directory is created. Change to the test directory. Now, I am in test folder. Here, I am going to write a simple hello world JSP file sudo gedit hello dot jsp. Here I am going to write a j hello world jsp file html html body hello world that is it. This is a simple hello world JSP program. This will display hello world in our browser. This is simple HTML tag and body tag. This is very important this is the syntax of JSP file. So, now I created a JSP file, now I want to run this hello dot JSP. Now, see our uh, test directory is created, inside that hello world dot j, hello dot JSP is file is created. Now, we need to restart the web server. How to restart our web server? Already we started our web server by using sudo slash etc slash init dot d slash tomcat start. Now, how to restart our web server? Same slash sudo slash etc init dot d tomcat 6 restart. This is the command to restart Tomcat web server. So, stopping Tomcat servlet engine Tomcat 6 is ok, which means that already started that stopping now. After stopping it is starting Tomcat servlet engine Tomcat 6 ok. So, now our servlet engine started. I am going to run our hello.jsp file. The same open your browser and type localhost colon 8080 slash our project name called test inside that hello.jsp. Uh, it shows uh, I think I forgot to close double quote symbol. So, this is uh, this uh, servlet engine uh, that shows error, if we made some syntax missing, syntax error. So, we need to clear that, same open, same JSP file and see here 
I forgot to close hello world. So only it's showing the error. Now I closed it. Again run same hello world. So it displays. Now our Tomcat server is working fine. Our uh, hello world dot j hello dot jsp file is working. If you have any doubt, please ask right now because hereafter we are going to uh, see uh, another web servers uh, called Apache 2 and uh, programming language PHP and MySQL. Before starting that, uh, I need to clear you all these Tomcat related doubts. Uh, most of the remote centers requesting for uh, please say one more time. So, I am going to explain, uh, I am going to summarize uh, everything uh, related Tomcat. So, please listen carefully. Using that Optan CD package manager, we installed Tomcat 6. After installing Tomcat 6, we need to start the server. sudo slash etc init dot d tomcat 6 start. This command will start our tomcat servlet engine. After starting our tomcat, we need to test our tomcat. Please type localhost colon 8080 in your browser, it will show it works button. If everything is working, everything configured correctly means it will show it works. After that, we, we want to, if you want to run JSP file, go to Tomcat's default to root directory cd slash where lib tomcat 6 web apps. This is the default to root directory of tomcat 6. If you want to run any JSP file, any servlet, you need to place your web applications here. Here we already created a test application cd test. Here we created a simple hello.jsp file. This simple hello.jsp file. Open that hello.jsp file and type HTML body. This is the symbol of JSP file. This is the start starting tag of JSP and hello world this will print hello world in browser. After typing please save hello.jsp file and open your browser slash test localhost colon a0 a0 slash test hello.jsp. It will show hello world. So, if it works means our Tomcat 6 is working perfectly. Now, I am going to say how to run var file, war file. This hello world dot var already created. So, how to run this var file? Now, I am going to explain. Place this hello world dot var file in our default Tomcat's default root folder. So, in our, our, down, our var file is in our desktop, we need to move this hello world dot var file in Tomcat's default root folder. Move 
move command is used to move one file to another one location to another location move hello world dot var lib tomcat 6 web apps before that we don't have permission in web apps folder so we need sudo permission so now our hello world dot var file is moved to web apps let me check see our hello world dot var file is there so now i want to run this hello world dot var file how to run this after placing var file we need to restart our web server how to restart sudo slash etc init dot d tomcat 6 restart it's stopping tomcat server engine and again starting tomcat so okay okay it comes now i'm going to run hello world open your browser type local host 8080 our tomcat is working fine orientation workshop for august coordinators so its hello world dot var file is simply printing orientation workshop for akas coordinator so our var file is running perfectly right now in our address bar i have typed local host colon 8080 slash hello h capital h e l l o capital w o r l d <coughs> so our hello world dot var file is running perfectly now i'm going to uh, install and configure apache 2 php file and mysql let me close everything again start package manager now i'm going to install apache 2 type apache 2 in quick search box it will sh show the list apache 2 apache 2 2.2 hyphen command see this uh, apache is in green it's, which means that already installed so i'm not going to install again if if those you didn't in install please click on this and right click mark for installation it will install our apache okay after installing apache 2 now i'm going to check whether our apache uh, 2 <coughs> server working perfectly or not to do that we need to start our Apa apache 2 server web server same sudo slash etc init dot d apache 2 so it shows ok which means that our http web server apache 2 is working perfectly now i'm going to test our uh, server uh, working tomcat uh, i mean uh, apache 2 server working or not simply type local host see it shows it works button previously tomcat uh, shows it works but in address bar i simply type local host only 
nothing else i didn't type any 8080 because 8080 port is only for tomcat and 80 only 80 port is for apache server so we no need to type 80 port simply type local host in your browser it will show it works page which means that your apache server is working perfectly so how to stop the web server sudo etc init.d apache to stop it's okay which means that it stopped check sim again type local host in your browser i think it's uh, some catchy problem tools see now unable to connect which means that in local host apache is not running because we already stopped now again start apache to server it started now type in your browser local host so it it shows it works button now our apache 2 is working fine now i'm going to install php file php is a open source programming language which is a, a widely used programming language nowadays so uh, how to configure this php file with this apache uh, and um, after that we will look at mysql now i'm going to install php file php file simply type php file in your quick search box it will display php file now i'm going to install php file right click on that mark for installation see it will display the dependencies all the dependencies look at this lib apache 2 hyphen mode hyphen php file this is very important file please sh make sure that this uh, file going to install just mark it and click on apply button we will download the package from our raptan cd and it will install you can you can see uh, most of the websites uh, running and uh, developed in php for example this facebook uh, uh, twitter Um, uh, many uh, social networking is uh, developed in PHP file. So PHP file is installed. Now, after installing PHP, we need to restart our Apache server. Slash etc init dot d Apache to restart. so our apache server is running now i am going to check php file is running or not uh tomcat's default to root folder is cd uh where lib Uh, tomcat 6 and web apps but our apache 2's default to folder is where www this is our apache 2's default to root folder if you want to 
run a PHP application or uh, any other web application, you need to place your project in where www folder. Here, I am going to write a simple hello world PHP 5. sudo gedit hello dot php php dot php is very important less than symbol question mark php this is the starting symbol of php starting tag all the php coding should be right in between these two tag now i'm um, simply i'm going to uh, print hello world like echo this is a simple program the simple php file which would simply print hello world in our browser save the file and open your browser type localhost slash hello dot php it prints hello world so now our apache 2 is working which uh, interprets php 5 file okay now i'm going to uh, explain how to install mysql and uh, how to create uh, a simple table how to create a user how to create a database how to give permission to that uh, user let me close everything. Now, I am going to install MySQL. Type MySQL iPhone server. MySQL iPhone server, it, it list. Right click on that, mark for installation. It will display all the dependency packages. Just click on mark. After that, click on apply. Again, it will download from our append CD and it will install MySQL server. So, while installing, it asks for our root password, MySQL root password. Default MySQL have a user called root we must specify password for that root user because this root user is used for all the configuration simply I'm give your uh, uh, own password it asks for repeat password You can see details what is installing, what not installing in this terminal window. So, now installation is completed. Close our Synaptic Package Manager. Now, I am going to test my whether MySQL server running or not. So, open your terminal. So, before the uh, entering to MySQL terminal, we need to start our MySQL server because we already you know uh, while installing Tomcat 6 and Apache 2, after installed we started our web server. Same we need to start MySQL server also, sudo slash etc init.d MySQL and start. So, now our MySQL engine is started. 
now I am going to enter into MySQL terminal in same window type MySQL hyphen u which specifies the user of the MySQL. We already have one root user and we already specified root user password at the time of installation hyphen p which is specified the password type mysql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p. So, it asks for the password of the root user. Now, I entered into the mysql terminal welcome to the mysql monitor it, it displays here. In MySQL terminal, you can create your database, you can create user, you can create table, whatever you want. So, now we enter into our MySQL terminal. Now, I am going to create a database. Simple create database example test. See this create database test which created a database called test it shows query ok one row affected which means that it is created a test database. So, our or the written query is executed perfectly. So, now uh, how do we say our test database is created or not? To list out all the database, we have a command called show database. See, it will display all the databases in our MySQL. Just now we created this test database. This information underscore schema and this MySQL is default is already there in our MySQL uh, after installation it already created. So, we, we, know, we do not consider about this, we simply consider this our, our uh, test database. Okay. I created test database, I want to create a user, see already we have a root user, but root user is only for minimal purpose, do not use a root user for everything. So, please create a separate user for MySQL. <coughs> to do that, write a command create user single quote, for example, Akash, close the single quote at the rate local host create user single quote akash at the rate single quote local host identified by some password for example ak 123 see create user Akash at the rate local host identified by password. See, this is the simple syntax create user command which creates the user called Akash at the server, which local host means our uh, default uh, server identified by which means that password 123. So, now issued enter see query ok 0 rows affected. So, now our uh, user Akash created. So, now we created one database now and uh, we created one user called Akash. Now, I am going to give some permission to that Akash user to database test how to do that. 
grant. Grant command is used to give permission to the user. Grant all on test dot star to Akash. See this grant command which is used to give permission to the user. Grant all, all means all the privileges create, delete, update, insert. There are many privileges are there. So, I simply give all, all the privileges to the user. I mean, uh, all on, on means which database we already created test database dot star, star means all the tables that test database and all the tables star means all the tables inside the test database to the user Akash. Press enter, query is ok. Now, we granted all the permission to the Akash user on the database test. Now, I want to quit my SQL. How to quit? Simple write backward slash and q by. So, it quit my SQL terminal. Now, we created one database test, we created uh, one user called Akash. Now, I am going to enter into the my SQL terminal with the user uh, newly created Akash, mysql hyphen u, which specify the user Akash hyphen p, 1, 2, 3. So, now I entered my into the mysql terminal with the Akash user. Now, we already granted permission uh, to the test table. Now, you can see whether a test table is available to this user or not. So, databases, see here test table is available for this user. Now, I am going to uh, this uh, we create a test uh, database. Now, I am going to create table inside the database. Okay. So, now we if you want to create a data table, we you we, we should use the database, then we create a table. So, to use the database, simply write a command called use test. So, it will it shows database changed, which means that we entered into the test database. So, here we are going to create table. So, uh, how to create a table? Create table table name here some attributes attribute list this is the uh, simple uh, syntax to create a new table create table table name attribute list so now i'm going to give some simple example create table for example, uh, address book. Here, yeah. this uh, create table address book, address book is the name of the table. So, how many uh, attributes are there? We, we will specify the attributes list inside this uh, bracket symbol id int 
name where care of size thirty uh, address tax and mobile number uh, where care. We create table address book bracket id space integer which means that id is an integer value. So, we should specify this id as an integer. So, give id int name is where care 30. So, where care bracket 30, 30 means is size of the text and address space text. Oh, oh, we will specify the address in uh, uh, I mean more than 300 character 400 character. So, so, simply we give text and mobile number we are going to get. So, where care 30, 30 is not a 30 is simply we are going to get uh, 12 numbers sorry plus 91710 digital number. So, press enter see it is created here. Yeah? table called address book. After creating table, we will see the descriptions of the table. To see that, see address book, see the descriptions of the address book table, DESC address book. So, it, it shows the field, field names and the type we specified and the this is a nullable or not it's whether it's a primary key or or not default is null extra see simply see id we created id and we created name we created address and we created mobile fields in the address book table now i created address book i want to insert some data in this address book how to insert some data? So, to insert there is a command insert into address book id name address mobile values id for example, starts from 1, name Raj, address room number one, some for example, Raja state Tamil Nadu and mobile number simply specify plus 9188794 see insert into address book and the field name id name address mobile and the values which what are the values we are going to insert in into that field see some errors occurs error 1064 which means that we are we did some mistake in this what mistake we did C open single open code is there, but I forgot to close here after Tamil Nadu. So, it shows the syntax error. Now, close. Oh, yeah, it is a button. Sorry, it's, uh, I wrongly abutted. Again, I entering into the MySQL terminal. So, databases use test reading table information for completion of the table database change. 
see I already we did some mistake so it shows uh, you can turn off this feature to get quicker startup so we don't worry about that now database is changed so tables see we already created address book so show tables which gives uh, the list of uh, available uh, tables inside that uh, databases uh, we forgot uh, inserting this values no? uh, uh, insert into ta table uh, address book id name address and uh, one more field name is the mobile values and for example 10 name is uh, raj address um, raja state and uh, mobile number uh, something oh uh, yeah choose again error you have an S error in sql syntax oh insert into See, uh, I added one more uh, this uh, uh, table, so it shows error. So now, insert into address book in bracket the field name ID, name, address book, mobile. Uh, there are the field names already there in the address book. In that uh, field name, we inserted the values called ten and Raj and Raja Street and some by num some numbers. So now we entered. Now uh, we need to check whether already see inserted data is already inserted or not. So the command is you select star from address book. See it, it displays the value we inserted. Select star from database. Oh, we can select some specific. Uh, specific data from the tables for example suppose if you want only the name from the address book table select name from address book it will display only the name instead of displaying all the fields it will display only the name so there are many queries uh, available in mysql uh, so see this is a very basic commands so you uh, search in the internet and you can find more or more commands uh, and you can learn more so now we have a database we have a table we have we inserted some data so i want to take dump dump of this database and uh, extract in some other machine for example uh, you have uh, inserted uh, table and you have inserted uh, uh, data inside that. Another was one person wants uh, this uh, database, so you you can take the dump of database and you can give to them. How to do that? Quit the MySQL. So there is one command called MySQL dump. This command is used to take the dump of MySQL database iPhone U, which user going to take the database? I am going to take dump of this root uh, using this uh, uh, root user iPhone P, uh, the database name we, uh, we already created one database called test. So, I am going to take uh, dump of this uh, test database this greater than symbol this greater than symbol will 
take the dump and, uh, and save in a the file name which we are going to specify. For example, test dot SQL. So, this this command will take the dump of the test database and uh, save in as test dot SQL. Uh, sorry, uh, my SQL dump so command is uh, I think wrongly I typed before I, I, I wrongly give some uh, I think uh, mistake. Now, see now my SQL dump iPhone u root iPhone p our database name test and greater than test dot SQL. So, it will ask for the root password to take the dump. So, you can see the test dot SQL file here, test dot SQL. So, now you can uh, send this test dot SQL to some other person to uh, extract in their uh, MySQL. So, uh, so now you taken dump, how to revert back? You have a dump file and how can uh, you insert into the database? See, we taken uh, dump using this command MySQL dump iPhone u the user root iPhone p uh, database name greater than symbol and the uh, file name dot SQL. Now, revert back how to this test dot SQL again back uh, to the uh, database simply write this command MySQL iPhone u root iPhone p test lesser than symbol test dot SQL. So, it will ask for the root password. everything is ok. Now, this test SQL again enter uh, again inserted into the databases. You can uh, enter into mysql hyphen u root hyphen p. You can show the databases. Test databases here. You can quit. Uh, how to stop the MySQL server? How to stop? sudo slash etc init dot d MySQL stop. So, it this command will stop the MySQL server. MySQL stop. MySQL stop right now. Anybody have queries? Please ask the question right now. Okay, let me explain uh, everything is once again. See, to install MySQL server, type MySQL hyphen server in your quick search box and it will display all the files. Right click on that mysql iphone server and mock for installation. It will install from your cd app and cd. After installing mysql, you can start using the terminal. To open your terminal application accessories a terminal, sudo slash etc init dot d mysql start this command will start our mysql database after starting mysql database we can enter into the terminal by issuing this command mysql iphon u root iphon p it will ask the password of the root user which already we given while the time of at the time of installation. Now we entered into the MySQL terminal.
so after entering we can create a user using this command called create user single quote the user name at the rate single quote the server name which means that local host identified by 123 which means the password our 123 is our password so this will create akash user for the mysql now create database test this command will create a database called test this command grant all on test dot star to akash this command will give all the permission which means that create delete update insert there are many privileges i given grant all privileges to the database name called test dot star which means that all the tables inside the database to the user called akash this command create table address book id space int comma name where care bracket 30 comma address neck text mobile worker 12 this command will create address book with the field called it id name address and mobile only four fields this table will create with the four four fields and this worker 30 which means that it is a size of name size of the name text and address this address and the data type is text <coughs> this is the mobile field and which has 12 characters desc address book this desc command will show the description no, i mean uh, this use test see this error use description address book which shows error 1046 no database selected which means that we we, we didn't select the database we just entered into the mysql terminal now we entered into the database now we can see address book descriptions see this which has four field id name address book mobile we can create uh, uh, many fields and uh, which are the types there are many types integer flow yeah, where care text we can also specify whether this uh, uh, field has nullable or not whether this uh, key is a primary key or foreign key there are many uh, uh, many things are there you can uh, please find uh, the documentations in uh, mysql uh, web websites and this command mysql dump hyphen u root hyphen p test greater than test dot sql this command will take the dump of the test database and which gives the na uh, names and test dot sql file after taking test.sql file this this sql file we can uh, we can give to any other persons uh, if you want to again re, uh, send to the database to this test.sql this command this less than symbol this is very important mysql iphone u root iphone p this is the database name and test.sql this will uh, again uh, uh, extract the tables inside the test database uh, if you have any doubts regarding this uh, you can ask uh, uh, our moodle and you can ask right now also so now i'm going to explain apache 2 installation again open your synaptic package manager after inserting uh, uh, our aptan cd type apache 
type Apache to in quick search box and press enter, it will display the list Apache to all the list. So, this is our Apache to server, right click on that and click mark for installation. After clicking mark for installation, it will display all the dependencies packages. You just click on mock. After clicking mock button, you click apply button here. The apply button is here. It will install the Apache 2 web server. After installing Apache 2, you can start the Apache server by sudo slash etc init.d apache2 start. This command will start apache server. You can test our apache server whether running or not. Open your browser and type localhost, simply localhost. It will show it works button, it works page. Now, our observer is working perfectly. Uh, the difference between Apache and Tomcat. See, this Tomcat is developed in Java. So, it is uh, it is specifically used for running ser Java servlets and JSP pages. Tomcat Apache 2 uh, is developed in C languages. It is uh, only shows HTTP pages. Uh, for example, um, uh, this PHP, Python, uh, uh, and uh, one more languages called Ruby. We can run this programming language in Apache too, but we cannot run PHP and Tomcat. P uh, Tomcat is uh, developed in uh, Java, so Tomcat is specifically uh, designed to run Java servlets and JSP pages. Uh, how to use war files? So, uh, I have one example war file. Hello world. Th this war file will uh, display a hello world. So, I am going to I am going to uh, uh, deploy this hello world dot war file in Tomcat server. CD. Our file is in desktop. So, I am going to move this hello world dot war file in where leap tomcat 6 web apps. So, please place your hello world dot war file in slash where leap tomcat 6 and web apps. So, you can see cd slash where leap Tomcat 6 web as hello world dot war file. This hello world dot war, war file is in where lib Tomcat and web apps. After placing hello world dot war, we need to restart our Tomcat server. So, to restart our Tomcat server, sudo etc. Our Tomcat server engine is started. Now you can see there are one more folder called hello world. This is extracted from hello world dot var after restarting our Tomcat server. So, so, you can see hello world this index.jsp file and metainf and webinf. This is an a web applications developed using NetBeans. Now, uh, I am going to run this hello world. Uh, we extracted, I mean, uh, we placed a hello world dot war and we started, we re restarted our Tomcat server. Now, I am going to run. 
type in your of uh, browser localhost colon a zero a zero slash hello world. So I just typed hello world only the folder name which is in uh, this folder name hello world after issuing that a tomcat looks the file called index.jsp it automatically runs index pages so you please look at uh, this uh, index.jsp file it simply has printing the simply printing orientations workshop for august coordinators nothing else this is a simple index.jsp file which it displays this is orientation workshop for august coordinator so you please place your where file where folder in where leave Tomcat 6 web apps, place your web WAR, WAR file here, after placing WAR file here, please restart your Tomcat server, it will automatically extract your project and it will run in browser. Yeah, cut and paste is possible, uh, before that we need to see this uh, web apps folder default does not have permission. So, only we need to uh, give some root permission for that. If you want to create a file and place this, we given sudo. If you do not want that, uh, every time I, I do not want to give this sudo, you can change the permission of this folder. How to change the permission? Sudo go to this uh, I mean I will explain sudo change mode if an capital R triple seven I given this triple seven means all the permission to all the users all the groups slash where leave tomcats and web apps. So, this will this command will give uh, permission to that web apps folder. Now, you can uh, directly go for example, place file system where leave tomcat 6 and web apps. So, you can see our hello world dot war file, our test project, this hello world dot war after extracting this hello world. So, you you can uh, use this GUI to place your war file and you uh, can create your uh, test HTML pages, JSP pages. Everything. or you can configure in uh, VMware also. See Apache Tomcat uh, is uh, already available in our Aptan CD. Uh, if you want to download, you can download from uh, web, uh, website uh, and you can uh, directly install. VAR file is in our root, root file system slash where slash where is there default root file system where file is here. There is no default user and uh, uh, password for the uh, Tomcat user. If you want to uh, manage your Tomcats, uh, I will show you. Enter uh, see localhost colon a 0 it shows Tomcat iPhone 6 admin this package installed two web applications that can help managing this Tomcat in 
so this manager web web app see this this package i didn't install uh, because i don't want to manage this tomcat i don't want a specific user for this manager uh, i mean a specific user for this uh, tomcat so if you want to uh, manage your tomcat you can install one more application called cat tomcat iphone 6 iphone user and tomcat 6 iphone admin tomcat 6 iphone user tomcat 6 admin you can you can install uh, this administration packages and you can uh, I think some uh, I think dependency packages is missed here, but you can download uh, uh, you can install from uh, your internet and you can uh, manage your uh, uh, Tomcat 6 using this admin uh, Tomcat I, I Tomcat 6 iPhone admin packages. Thank, thank you.